Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. Today we're going to do some thrifting and just have a whole lot of fun. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing I found at the antique store was these amazing vintage or antique postcards. Most of them were from the early 1900s. So if you're one of the friends that got some of these cards from me, this is where I found them. I also kept one for myself. Aren't these little buckets just adorable? I wanted them all. My mom has this exact rocking chair. That was my grandma's and we don't like it. <laughs> I learned something new. These are the northern boys. I've always only ever seen the northern girls. Aren't they absolutely adorable? And on the other side of the booth, I found the Northern Girls. My mom had these. Aren't they darling too? This item gets the prize for the most unique item I saw all day. I've never seen anything quite like this. It was so unique and so very expensive. This next store was new to me. I had never been there before. It's called Mission Thrift. It was a beautiful, clean, inviting store, and they support adoption. I loved the sayings that they had on their wall.
Most of the clips I showed you today were from a shopping trip I took with my friend to Amish country. We had a great day, some great food, lots of fun, and some thrifting. So I'm going to show you first what I found in Amish country. I picked up this cute little book for $2 at the antique store. It's called Funny Bunny, and I just loved the color on the front. That pretty lime green, it's very pretty for spring and Easter. And then look at the pretty yellow in the front there. I'll just show you inside a couple pages. Those colors are repeated. Look how vibrant and beautiful. And then there's this pretty green as well. So I could either just tuck that into my decor like this, or I could open it up to a special page that I like the colors of. Ooh, there's some blue too. And I could open it up and display it like that. So that was a fun find. And then I found this adorable little tin with bunnies on. And it was only 25 cents, so I thought I would tuck that into my decor somewhere. The top looks like this. And it doesn't have any markings on it. I don't think it's anything super special as far as where it came from, but it was special to me, so I picked that up for a quarter. And then to sell, I found these salt and pepper shakers. They say Old Fort Herod State Park. So there's the salt, that was 10 cents. And here is the matching pepper shaker, also 10 cents. For, so for 20 cents, I hope I will be able to turn a profit on these in my booth. I also have been looking for stamps. As far as the kind that you use with an ink pad, I wanted to find something to put on the back of my price tags and I found this one and it says thank you. It was 25 cents. And let me see if I can turn it the right way so that you can read it. Here's how the back looks. So I need to get an ink pad. I don't even have one, but I wanted something small enough that I would be able to put on my tags. So I got that. All right, that is all that I picked up in Amish country, except for the cutie pie little salt and pepper shakers that I found. I'll insert a picture here or a film, whatever I have of what they look like when I found them. And then I'm gonna show you what they look like when I'm finished with them. So there'll be another clip talking about that. So you're probably wondering what color I chose to paint my little lamb's bow ties. I had two viewers give me ideas. The first was Annette W and she suggested mint green and yellow. And that's why I chose this little lime sherbet. I thought it looked a little minty green. It's the closest I had. And then I also had Melissa Lester suggest the yellow and the green. And the reason why I chose those colors is it goes with my kitchen. So thanks everybody for submitting your ideas. I always love getting your ideas. Even if I don't use them, you never know when I might in the future. So keep on giving me those ideas in the comments. Let's keep moving with the thrift haul. Next, I have a couple items I found at the Majestic Turnaround, which is where I have my booths. And look at this cutie pie. I got this for $3.50. And I will show you where I'm going to put that if you stay till the end. This next item has been a bucket list item. You might think, wow, something so simple, but these are hard to find. Look at these. These are vintage, I lost my wording on what it is, cupcake picks. I am so tickled with these. Look how cute they are. Now, I'm not going to use them for cupcakes. I'm going to use them in a way that I've used before. If you've watched my channel, you might know, but stay till the end and I'll show you where they end up. And this has nothing to do with Easter, but I found this and it was $3 uh, from one of my new friends there, a new vendor. And I got this for Melody's Many Miscellaneous. She was th tickled. Um, I sent her a picture of it and she said, yes, please. 
So Melody will be happy to add that to her collections. Next, I have some friend mail. It's not really mail, but I was in the booth one day and my friend John gave me all of this stuff from Holly Hobby. Check it out. Look how adorable. This is the traditional Holly Hobby that I had the doll of when I was a little girl and I wished I had kept it. And it's just a little print. It says American Greetings on the front. And I don't see, well, the year is in Roman numerals. So I'm gonna guess, let's see. I'm not gonna guess. I'll do a close-up of that and maybe somebody knows Roman numerals they can let us know what year but look at this one how cute now does this one say this says published for Cunningham art products and it does not have a year but look how cute this one is love that now let me show you the top here it says prints by Cunningham it's still in the original bag And then these, have you ever seen these? They say Holly Hobby decals. Clear vinyl, sticks dry on, it's gonna cover it up with a tag, on clear, on clean surface, on notebooks, doors, bulletin boards, 59 cents. These were made by Three Fish Inc. and they're from Atlanta, Georgia. Also made by American Greetings. Also, no year on this one. Look how cute. I bet you know what I'm going to do with this. It says, good friends are sunshine on a rainy day. I'm going to put that in my April showers decor. And then there's one more. It says, life is fun. Why hurry through it? Look how darling. So these are all from John. Thank you so much. And then when I was working the other day, John saw that I bought these and how excited I was to find them. And he gave me this. Look how cute. Little pick, a vintage rabbit pick. So stay tuned till the end so you can see where I put all these fun treasures. Here's where I decided to put my little cupcake picks. Look how darling they are. I stuck them in this clear flower frog. That's hard to say. But that's where they ended up on my hutch. And also, there's another addition. I put this, I found it in my basement. I forgot about it. And I wanted to put that in my hutch for spring. That's a little flower pot. Well, it's actually rather large that my grandma made in ceramics. So I kind of flipped that around and put the plates and the little pitcher on the other side. And I like the little pops of yellow here in my hutch. If you didn't see how the whole thing was decorated, I'll link the video up above. And also I decided to add a little flower frog there so you could see that postcard a little bit better. And we're getting some Easter cards. So I've been putting those there and I think they look real pretty. I decided my funny bunny book would fit well here on the bottom shelf of my hutch because it's a bunny theme. What do you think? Gives a little pop of color. Here's where I decided to add the little tin that I got for a quarter. Another bunny theme. I decided to add my little bunny pick from John right here in this little basket. Another bunny theme. Are you getting the hint that I like bunnies everywhere? I decided to add my little holly hobby right here into my April showers bring May flowers display. If you want to see this whole bookcase full of the April shower stuff, then again, that'll be in the same video that I linked before for you. Here's how my lambs turned out with their little green and yellow bows. Aren't they just a darling? I have these on my table in the dining room. And I'm so much happier with them with those color bows than the red. Let me know what you think. And thanks Annette and Melissa and Melody for the idea to paint them in the first place. 
I decided to stick this little pick here in with my candle and I have it in a lantern. I showed that in my Easter decor as well. And I don't have a lot of blue, but since I have the little scatter with the blue in, I thought it would look really cute there. And I just poked it right into one of the scatter to help it stand up. Here's where I decided to showcase the die cut I got with the Easter bunnies. Aren't they just darling? And they add a little bit of interest to my mantle, which I kept fairly simple. So if you want to see more about how I decorated my whole house, I will link that video for you up above. I hope you had fun going thrifting with me today and seeing all the fun things that I found and where I placed them and my friend mail. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy spring. Bye-bye.